What's up everyone? Yes, we moved to Costa Rica and we're starting a professional club. Why Costa Rica? Well, today we're going to talk about that. So welcome back to the channel. My name is Joe Funicello. I'm the founder of Soccer Visa. Now remember, if you like our content, smash that like button and hit the subscribe button as it helps us tremendously on our journey to build a professional club. All right, so there are so many countries in the world we could have started a professional club. Why did we pick Costa Rica? Well, let's start with this. Starting a club in America is so expensive, and it's really, there's no end goal. I'll give you an example. So to buy an MLS franchise, it's almost three, it's more than 300 million. To buy a USL franchise, it's in, it's in the millions or hundred thousands. And what's the point? You're not getting fans. Well, some teams do, but you're not getting fans and you're not able to market yourself where you're in the positive every year and operating the club as a business. And I think a lot of people forget that. Manchester United, Manchester City, all these clubs, even MLS clubs, USL clubs, they're businesses. They're businesses. And in America, if you're not in the top league, it's hard to generate ticket sales. It's even harder to come up with other resources of revenue when the sport is not the main sport in the, in the country. And it's, it's looked at as more as a family sport, where around the world, it's a religion. So uh, that is why we didn't pick America. And plus, we want our players to be seen by bigger clubs. And if, if, if our club does well, we want bigger teams to see our players. In America, it doesn't matter if you're a USL, NISA, USL team. It doesn't matter. The MLS rarely, rarely, rarely scouts those lower leagues. So that's one reason why we didn't pick America. Now, Europe. Why didn't we pick Europe? Well, I wanted to go somewhere where we could play U.S. clubs if we do well. So qualifying for CONCACAF Champions League means we could be playing MLS clubs in that competition. For me, that's a way for me not to get back at U.S. soccer because I hate that, but to show that U.S. soccer that there's good players that I can scout from America, bring here, mix with the Costa Rican players, and do well with. Guys you never heard of because I, I, you know, I'm a big believer that the U.S. scouting system is broken. It's not even broken. It's just they don't care to scout other than what they know. So Costa Rica is a better place to do that because we can qualify for CONCACAF. Another reason is land. It's just a lot cheaper here to buy land and build a facility. We can go to Europe and, and all those places, which is a little more expensive. But Costa Rica, building a club here, you have everything from fresh food, fresh land. Um, and when I say fresh land, I mean untouched land that we can build our facility on, a, a following for the game. And they haven't really seen a European style football club here. So it just made all the sense in the world. The other reason, obviously, is like I just said about U.S. soccer, we can sell players. In other countries around the world besides America, we hold players' cards once we sign them. When we hold their cards, we're allowed to sell them. And that's why America doesn't, uh, well, why America's pay to play and other countries aren't is because they hold that player card and it allows them to sell the player. So if I get a youth player in, he's not going to pay to play because he's an investment. If I can develop him properly and he does well, as he's doing well and performing well for my team and my team's performing well because of his performance, he can be marketed to bigger clubs and they'll pay or buy him from Soccer Visa FC, which is an amazing investment. I'm a big believer in the underdogs and Costa Rica is a country that I feel, when I went to Iceland back in 2009, it was a country that was beginning to explode on the football scene because of the way they were starting to do things. And you saw later on them qualifying for the World Cup and how well they did in European competitions. And I feel Costa Rica is the same in terms of what's happening here in the football scene. So I'm an underdog, love underdogs. Why not be in a country where no one really thinks about or outside in the main football scene, doesn't really see as a powerhouse, come in here and make a mark in this industry that's seen on the world stage. Um, the other reason is just personal preference. I fell in love with this country, uh, especially this, this coast, the Caribbean coast. Uh, I fell in love with the culture, the people. There's one road in, one road out. Um, it's a huge beach town. I mean, think about this. We, we're rebuilding the stadium and the community here. When the, It's in the center of town, and literally there's the beach, bars, stadium. That's how it goes. So beach is here, road, bars, road, stadium. <laughs> when the lights go on, when we're playing in a professional league, fuck. I mean, 
when those lights go on, tourists and people are just going to be attracted to those lights because it's just in the center of town. And the stadium is going to be full. Full. And not to mention, let's say we're playing a big game. The fans of the opposing team are going to say, wait, they're playing Soccer Vs FC on a Sunday night? Well, let's do this. Let's head there right after work Friday, enjoy the beach for two days, and then enjoy the game. So it just made sense from a lot of different perspectives. As you follow our journey here on YouTube, as you follow it on social media, as we build our own professional club, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button as it helps us tremendously on our journey to building a professional club. And you never know, one day you might see Soccer Vs FC lift the CONCACAF Champions League trophy. And what an amazing goal. And people are saying, Joe, you're crazy, but we would have never built this complex and moved so many players and done what we've done if we weren't crazy. So thank you so much and enjoy your day.